Oh, and he's top 40 with these players? Bro, I don't disrespect Larry Bird with defense no more. Bro. To Wanda here, another banger, you know what I'm saying? Today we got some more Larry Bird, man. Now, this, by the, all I can tell by the title, NBA fans are wrong about Larry Bird. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. Before I knew anything about Larry Bird, I was one of them people that was wrong about Larry Bird. I ain't going to lie to you. I I ain't think that Larry Bird was that that top, we're going to say top three competitor in the league for that top three GOAT. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know he was like that, bro. But... This is for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I did I did a lot of videos on Larry Bird, so I know now, you feel me, as a young and I know. But before we get to the video, make sure I subscribe, comment what y'all wanna see, like the video, and let's get straight into it. I ask you to tell me what comes to mind when you hear the name Larry Bird. I ain't gonna lie. When I hear Larry Bird, bro, I got him behind Jordan. He top three though, he top, he top three though. Top, maybe top five in some people's eyes. But for me, bro, he top three, bro. He deserved that, bro. He's Probably one of the greatest all-around basketball players we've ever seen play the game. He can do it all, literally. You would probably think of things such as his great shooting. After all, Larry Bird had multiple 50-40-90 seasons. And who can forget seeing him famously win the three-point contest in his warm-up gear? Perhaps you would think of his crazy passing. After all, you can find highlight after highlight of just some of the most ridiculous passes in NBA history. Perhaps you would think of the great rivalry between him and Magic Johnson. After all, it's hard to talk about one without the other. Or you could think of individual moments such as Larry Bird hitting game winners, or playing a game with only his left hand. All of these are great Larry Bird things, however, what many fans probably don't think about is Larry Bird's defense. After all, the terms Larry Bird and defense aren't commonly associated. No, nah, I seen I seen a video of him playing defense. That no, nah, that was crazy. I ain't even know Larry Bird get down like that, but he was playing some good defense. I ain't gonna cap to you. Because Larry Bird was unathletic, surely he couldn't play defense properly. And the more and more I consume NBA discourse, a very commonly held opinion today is that Larry Bird was not a great defender. But what if I were to tell you that this is something NBA fans get totally wrong about Larry Bird? And as time goes by, more and more people just assume he was a bad defender. Bro, bro, he was like 6'9", 16. I mean, he had like injuries that he couldn't, he couldn't play the best of his ability, but he definitely played some good defense. Or at the very least, not very good. And I get it, you look at Larry Bird, you don't particularly see the most athletic specimen ever. And you think, sure, he can play great offense. However, surely he got exposed defensively, right? Or at least they would hide him away? Well, that is precisely what I used to believe about Larry Bird and what I find many people in the NBA community still believe to this day. It's hard to have a debate ranking players all time without someone knocking Larry Bird because they assumed he was a bad defensive player because he was unathletic. However, the more and more I dug into the facts, the more I realized how truly incorrect this idea was. Larry Bird was actually a very good to great defender. Now, I never got to watch Larry Bird play live as his career was well- No, he wasn't the, he wasn't the greatest defender. He wasn't, but he definitely- you feel me? Got some steals, got some blocks. You know, he was in there. He was he in the paint, bro, at all times. He's a hustler, you know what I'm saying? Before my lifetime. But I also think I can share a unique perspective because I changed my perception around Larry Bird as I watched more highlights and as I dug into the numbers. But before I get into the major reasons why Larry Bird was actually a very good defender, first I want to confront what I believe is the biggest reason people undervalue his defense which is the fact that Larry Bird is seen as unathletic. Now, admittedly, Larry Bird wasn't one of the best athletes in the league, but he also wasn't as unathletic as people made it out to seem. And when I really started to watch more Larry Bird highlights, I realized he was a lot quicker and more athletic than people claimed. And I believe that this quote by Dave Cowens, who played with Bird early in his career, perfectly sums it up. People always say he wasn't fast, but Bird was quick. He had a great first step and could get by people. And he could handle the ball with that first step. He had a quick mind and a quick release. There wasn't anything that he did not do well. He was a really tough cover for the other team. And when you really look at Larry Bird highlights, especially in the earlier part of his career, you can see him sprinting up and down the court with some of the best athletes. There are other great moments, such as him famously dunking on Dennis Rodman. I think a major part of the reason Wait, people- Wait, dunking on- he dunked on Dennis Rodman? Bro, they ain't- they didn't- they didn't show me that clip. Hold on, was that the clip? Your great moments, such as him famously dunking on Dennis Rodman. Bro, 
I'm not, bro. I don't. I might have passed this clip so many times, bro. But they have not like to. They have not showed me this for real, for real. Like, this is crazy. Man, I think a major part of the reason people undervalue his athleticism is the way he looked in the last few seasons of his career where Larry Bird famously had a lot of back issues. We are often heavily influenced by the most recent things we see of players, which in turn I think has led people to undervaluing his athleticism and by extension his defense even more. After all, how could someone as slow as Larry Bird play proper defense? Now after explaining why Larry Bird was actually a lot more- Bro, wait. Bro, that's a misconception, bro. You don't need to be fast to play good defense, bro. He's 6'9", 6'10". Bro, a lot of times, you feel me? At this at this time, when they played, he, they was they was in the paint, bro. They was driving. You know what I'm saying? So you, all Larry Bird had to do was jump, block the shot. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe, bro, Larry Bird had IQ. Do y'all remember the game he played against the Pistons, bro? Isaiah Thomas took the ball off for the first time in his career, bro. Bro, Larry Bird went from one end to the other end, stole the ball, passed it, gang went a layup. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. It's not it's not a lot of people doing that out here. Like. For real, for real. More athletic than people claim, I still think it's important to acknowledge that while athleticism certainly helps with defense, I still find people overvalue it and undervalue other things such as defensive instincts and defensive IQ. However, Larry Bird had great awareness and instincts on the defensive end, so he was a strong team defender, and he was also athletic enough with great instincts to play some pretty good individual defense. Not to mention, Larry Bird was pretty good at using his 6 foot 10 inch height to at least bother the offensive players. But something I feel which has been lost with time is that Larry Bird was actually named to the all-defensive second team three times before injuries slowed him down towards the end of his career. So he must have been acknowledged as a pretty- So, I mean, they seen something we didn't see, you know what I'm saying? Hey, for somebody to be all a defensive team anyway, it's pretty decent at some good- They, they decent at defense, bro. I ain't go, they just don't not gonna put anybody in there, but they just not doing that. Good defender to make these all defensive teams multiple times. Now I get it, awards aren't everything, but they can reflect the media and fans' perception around the player. So it's very hard that if the NBA media at the time thought he was a good defender, that somehow he was just tricking everyone. In addition to the media at the time awarding him these all defensive team selections, the advanced stats strongly support the idea that Larry Bird was a good defender. Now I understand that advanced stats shouldn't be the only thing you look at, but I also think that they can at least provide more context and more information to use alongside accolades and the eye test. Furthermore, advanced stats can provide a better picture than simply going off of points, rebounds, and assists because the advanced stats have ways of accounting for other factors such as changes in pace depending on the error you played in. And looking at Larry Bird's advanced defensive stats, they are all very good to great. Now first, as the saying goes, the defensive possession doesn't end until the defensive rebound is secured. And Larry Bird was a very strong defensive rebounder who would usually get the break going with quick outlet passes. And defensive rebounding is a very big part of defense. I ain't gonna lie, we've seen that. We've seen a lot of that. Larry Bird was faithfully getting rebounds throwing it down. He averaged like what? 10, 11, 12 boards? A game? Come on, now, and he was tossing the ball, break starter. All game. And even as a small forward, Larry Bird averaged eight defensive rebounds per game. But looking at the advanced stat defensive rebounding percentage, Larry Bird currently sits 74th all time with a defensive rebounding percentage of 22.37. For context, this is above other small forwards like LeBron, Kawhi, Durant, and above many other great defensive rebounders. Of course, I understand this is only a single aspect of defense, and I'm not saying that ranking higher than a different player in a certain category makes you better defensively, but it's only to show that if Larry Bird consistently ranks high in the advanced defensive stats, where you typically find many of the best defenders sitting at the top of these lists, then in all likelihood, Larry Bird was also probably a very good defender. For He was at 22% while the other one was at 18. That should tell y'all something. First of all, he not on the break. He not point hungry. You know what I'm saying? He actually, for the team, he gonna crash with you. That's most important. You, we gotta get the ball so we can get our offense flowing. Context, looking at defensive rebounding percentage, players like Gobert, Dwight Howard, Rodman, Duncan, Garnett, they all sit at the very top. 
Now admittedly, he's only ranked 250th all time for block percentage, however that's still pretty good when that's you good. consider the sheer number of crazy good athletes the NBA has seen. And block percentage will skew more towards the power forwards and the centers. So for context, Michael Jordan ranks 217th, while Kawhi Leonard ranks 194th and LeBron is 191. No, that's crazy because he's some good defenders, bro. And for him to be even close, what would they say, 250? Bro, that's close. That's not that much far off from Kawhi, LeBron, and Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Moving on to a different category, Larry Bird ranks a little higher in steal percentage, finishing 133rd on the all-time list with a 2.16 career steal percentage. Now, even looking at the basic stats, Larry Bird was great at getting steals and would average 1.7 steals for his entire career. Because after all, Bird's most famous defensive play was the steal in game five of the- Didn't I just tell y'all that, bro? Didn't I just tell y'all that, bro? That, this clip, I was like, there is no way, bro. Isaiah Thomas still talking about it to this day, bro. And if y'all don't know, you feel me? The bad boys, that was my team. Even before I was born, that was my team. That's my home. You know what I'm saying? But like, for him to come from one end sprint, and look, look where he at, bro. Out of bounds, basically, bro. Like what, what 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 type of IQ does he have? It's crazy. The 1987 Conference Finals, and while Larry Bird was not John Stockton when it came to steals, his instincts and feel for the game made him a threat to get tons of steals. In addition, Larry Bird ranks 61st all-time in defensive rating with a defensive rating of 101.44. Now, defensive rating can be complicated. However, Damn, it's wait. So this whole video is about how Larry Bird is a defender, bro. Like, he is ranked in, in, in the, you feel me? He's ranked in, the, in a pretty good spot to be a defender, bro. So everybody was wrong about him being a defender, bro. Because, I mean, the only thing they showed me when I watched Larry Bird, I ain't gonna lie, is offensive clips. I, they never showed me his defensive clips. I never really seen steals. I never really seen blocks. I see the boards. I see the pass. And I see offensive stats. You know what I'm saying? But as far as defense go, they don't show that too much in Larry Bird, bro. It's still a useful stat to use alongside the others when evaluating who are good defenders, and it's no surprise that many of the all-time greatest defenders sit at the very top of this list. Moreover, Larry Bird ranks at the crazy position of 37th in defensive box plus minus, with a defensive box plus minus of 1.77. What is probably another surprise is that Larry Bird ranks 30th all-time in defensive win shares, with a defensive win share of 59 for his career. And sure, win shares can be a complicated stat. For context, the players with the five best defensive win shares are Bill Russell, Tim Duncan, Kareem, Olajuwon, and Wilt. Oh. And he's top 40 with these players? Bro, I don't disrespect Larry Bird with defense no more. Bro. He's, he's on this list with these players, bro. Come on, y'all. Y'all gotta do better at this, bro. Y'all gotta be better, bro. All of which are unanimously seen as some of the very best defenders in history, so it's only logical to assume that if the very best defenders in league history rank at the very top of a defensive stat, then the defensive stat probably has some merit when it comes to determining if you're a good defender when you use it alongside other stats, accolades, and the eye test. And another Larry Bird accomplishment, which often gets glossed over, is the fact that Larry Bird led the league in defensive win shares four times. Yeah. Admittedly, while advanced stats are a way of adding more clarity, they do have some limits and should be used in addition to other things. Perhaps you really don't care about advanced stats and really rely on the eye test, I suppose the tricky thing about the eye test is that everyone has different opinions on what passes the eye test for them, but from everything I watched, I truly believe Bird passes the eye test. From watching highlights of him playing games, in the playoffs, in the regular season, he's athletic enough and moves well enough laterally to play good individual defense. Bro, imagine if he didn't get injured though. Like, imagine if, if, if he actually paid somebody to, to do his mama's, uh, um driveway bro he didn't get that back injury bro it will be different bro he would he only played 13 seasons the lead bro the whole book would be different the nba book would be different i swear it would but once you add in his phenomenal instincts i think it would surprise a lot of people how great he is with anticipation 
and how this helped him rack up the steals and secure a ton of defensive rebounds. Not to mention he was great at using his height to at least bother offensive players with good contest. Keep in mind he is 6 foot 10. And you might still say well you didn't watch him live so how can you really tell? Some YouTube highlights will never paint a proper picture. And to that I would answer well the media covering the league at the time must have thought he was a good defender because he got multiple all NBA defensive team selections. And even if you say well these selections alone don't prove he was a good defender, these used in conjunction with great defensive Bro how can you not say that though? You feel me? Bro, people are put in place each season for the all defensive team bro. We don't, they don't just put anybody on that list. You have to prove why you should be on that list bro. Just as much as you have to prove why you MVP or even finals MVP like you have to prove that bro. Stats are a pretty good indicator that he was a very good defender. And to be fair, as the 80s went on, the Celtics surrounded Bird with other strong defenders, Kevin McHale, Dennis Johnson, but even looking back at articles and headlines and the media awards, Larry Bird was viewed by most of the time as a pretty strong defender on the team, not as any kind of liability. I truly believe that as more and more time has gone by since Larry Bird's career, especially the peak of his career, many more NBA fans start to cling to these narratives that he was incredibly unathletic, he was slow, he wasn't a good defender, and as this happens more and more the reality of the situation gets lost with time. All of this is to say Larry Bird was a very good to great defender and I believe that his defensive accolades, the advanced defensive stats, and the eye test all back this up. Hey y'all y'all heard it from the video man. There's something that y'all didn't know that Larry Bird was a good good defender bro. I ain't gonna say he was one of the greatest but he definitely was a good defender. He was 16. Like what, what you mean? Bro he better be a good defender you know what I'm saying like Bro, a lot of times I seen Larry Bird, bro, he was definitely in the paint. So he definitely was a good shot blocker. He averaged almost two steals a game, you know what I'm saying? Three defensive on uh, all team, you know what I'm saying? So it's bro, proof is there, bro. The proof is there. I don't understand why y'all why y'all saying Larry Bird was this and that, bro, but I go I was on the other end before I started doing YouTube. I was on the other end. I think that Larry Bird was like that. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. So for me to learn about him, bro. I'm just sharing it with y'all how my experience went, bro. And, and I'm telling y'all not, bro. Larry Bird is definitely top three for me, bro. He's definitely proved his point, bro. And they still talking about it to this day. So it is what it is. But if y'all enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment what y'all want to see. And we on to the next video.